two great stars and their contestant partners are going to have a close call. Narrow escapes. Split second decisions. And a chance at $25,000 in cash. A combination guaranteed to make you say. And now here's the host of our show, Tom Kennedy. <laughs> Hi there, how are you? Golly, it's sure good to see you. We have two of Hollywood's biggest talents and craziest people, namely Elaine Joyce. Elaine Joyce and John Saxon. You're crazy. You're bananas. You know, talent. Biggest. No, 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 talent. Okay. I was trying to think of something to say about you and about her. Really? You're a big Some talent. Big. She's a big crazy. Big crazy. She's a big, she's bananas is what oh, she is. Oh, no, that was so. Uh... Isn't she also gorgeous, though? I've already told her. She that. really is. <laughs> and John Saxon we, is currently being seen in two theaters in your neighborhood. One of them, he's playing in The Electric Horseman, and the other one is Beyond Evil. Okay. And Elaine Joyce and Hubby Bobby are going to be doing the Mrs. America contest right. in, a, in a couple of weeks. So we're, right. we're happy that you both took time over out to come to see us. Our pleasure. That's good. We had a great time. It's a great week we're enjoying yes. with you. And here is Norma Brady. She's our current champ. It's $1,750. And isn't she a doll? The blonde hair and the blue eyes and a handsome husband to match. Mm -hmm. The whole thing. From what part of England, Norma? Um, just inland from Liverpool. You and hubby lived for six years in Iceland, you yes. told us. How was that? Cold. <laughs> do you want Cold. honesty? Dark. Do you want diplomacy? Dark. I want an honest <laughs> diplomatic answer. Uh, it was wonderfully cold. It was a unique cold. experience. A unique, a unique experience. experience. Right. <laughs> and here comes... That's an expression. Don't bleep that out. <laughs> Mitchell Skelly, get out here, Mitchell. Hi, Mitchell. Hi, Bob. How are you? Pretty good. Tell us about, uh, what you, you're, you're, uh, you're in college. I'm in college, I'm at USC. <laughs> at USC. USC, yeah. Yeah. And I'm a drummer in the George Marching Band. And yeah. I'm in, great. And a fraternity there, having great, lots of fun. That's good, all right. Now, we have a tie situation. This is the tiebreaker board coming up. You're awful. And this is the tiebreaker board, okay? The, the board is devoted to fun and games. Ah. Ah, what could be easier than that? I now, Norma, it is your choice, though. On fun and games, you want to charge your block. We're going to charge. You are. They're going Great. to charge. Great. That's what they're going Great. to do. Charges go behind the, the uh, arrow. The block is go behind the Great. stop sign. Okay. So take your positions. There you go. No, no, right here. You stay right here because, oh, well, I just simply want to give you a reminder and then you'll go. Oh, I want to remind you that to win a round, you get from the bottom of the board to the top of the board within 60 seconds. That's all there is to it. Now, I invite you to charge on out. There they go. Out of sight and out of hearing. Away they go. And here we are. You get to play six blocks and you can place only one on the sixth level, no more than three on any of the remaining ones. And you will be credited with the amount of money attached to the blocks that your opponents might encounter. Great. Mitchell, go to work. First three blocks are yours. Tom, I like level six. Yeah. 500. Mm -hmm. And level three, 30. 330. And 10. And 10. All right, Elaine. I'll take on level four, 10, 30, and 50. 10, 30, well, a little different act for you this time. How clever of you. Terribly clever. All right, let's see how it works. Tie breaking round. Tie breaking. Yes. Whoever wins this round has a chance for $25,000, so it is a biggie. Norma, tell me, who's going to start? You I'm or John? Going to start. You are going to start. Yes. It is fun and games. There are 60 seconds on the clock, so giving me the level and the money amount. Charge. Level 110. 110. In wrestling, you win by pinning the other guy's boulders to the canvas. Shoulder. Charge on. Level 210. 210. A popular event in the rodeo is the calf groping contest. Calf roping. Charge, Norma. Level 310. 310. Block. Four. Four. Three. Two. One. Same level three. 50. 350. A pitcher warms up in the bull manure. Ten. Charge, John. Level 410. 410. Block. Four. Four. Three. Two, one. Same level four. Level 450. 450. Four. Four. Three, two, one. Same level four. Level 440. 440. On summer nights, kids love to go outside and try to catch lightning bolts. But charge normal. 510. 510. A pin spotter is used in this sport of acupuncture. Bully. Acupuncture. Bully. Charge John. 6200. 6200. A game that amuses little boys is pick up chicks. Pick up sticks. Boy, you talk about playing it right down.
You talk about playing it to the last second. That was a brave move, but you made it. And you have another chance at $25,000. Come over here, Mitchell. It was a ferocious contest, Mitchell. It was a pleasure having you on the show. Thank Hope you, you had a much. good time. We enjoyed yeah, having your family and all your friends with us, and we have a nice gift for you. Listen, Rod, tell him about it. It's a moped from Saks, a superbly engineered moped from Germany, built to give you the best in fun, safety, service, and economy, because quality counts Saks. You're going to have a ball with that, Mitchell. Thank you very much. Thank best you. of luck to you. Thank you all right. Well, Norma, terrific. What is hubby's name? Glenn. Glenn? Is she going to make it this time for $25,000? 25. Yes. Absolutely, he says. We'll see how she does. Right after these words for you, all right? Go. Norma Brady, turn shot. Husband Glenn's in the audience. How long have you and Glenn been married? 22 years. All right, good luck to you. You ready, John? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, Norma and John. I'd like to introduce you to 10 of the most imbalanced inebriates who ever stood between a contestant and her money. And here they are. With these, uh, what kind of inebriates are they? Un unamusing? Uh, yeah, we'll see how amusing they are. We're expecting a loss. No. <laughs> oh, well, that's what they're expecting. What are we expecting? A win. A big win. You're gonna pin them. You're gonna pin them? Sure. Let's do it. All right. All, right. All you have to do is get from villa number one through villa number 10. You got $25,000, Norma. It's that simple. Now, between charging and blocking, you won 800, pardon me, $580. So that means you've earned 65 seconds in which to beat the, the villains. Now, Norma, you tell me, do you want to take on the first five or the last five? I'm going to start and John's going to take the last five. Very good. John down there on villain number six. Mm. Norma right there on villain number okay. one. All right, good luck to both of you. Here we go, 60. Five seconds on the clock. The gauntlet and the clock will begin with the first bell. A postman uses his pouch to carry his young. Letters. The TV detective Columbo was played by Peter Gunn. Falk. In the Bible, Aaron was forced to make the Golden Globes. Rod. Valentina Tereshkova was the first woman to orbit the Tsar. The Earth. An agent usually gets 10% of a performer's groupies. Uh, salary. A timepiece worn on your wrist is called a ticker. A wristwatch. Bud Fisher's famous comic duo is Mutt and Fleas. Batman and Robin. A oh, button chip. The first three letters in the Greek alphabet are Alpha, Beta, and Cheetos. Gamma. Judy Garland's third husband was Sid Caesar. Loft. The widow of a king is called the Queen Nag. Ah. Astronomy is the study of derriere. Stars. The drifters sang sweets for my sweet, sugar for my diabetes. I hear it. On The Tonight Show, Doc Severinsen's substitute is Tommy Gruesome. Ed Wynn floated to the ceiling in the Disney movie Mary Wanna. Poppins. One of London's Time's greatest. Up. Uh, John, I'm sorry, your time is up, but you did get through nine of them. That included Dr. Derange. They earns for you another $900. It says crash landing. That was a good try, Norma. Very good try. Both of you did quite well. You got another $900 added to your winning. It uh, brings you up to a total of $3,230. And if you can take on another challenge, you maybe have another track that they got with the villains. Right after these words, don't you go away, folks. Norma Brady herself has $3,230. And I said that you were eligible to take on another challenger. And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jack Ong. Hello there, Jack. How are you? Fine, thank you. That's good. Tell us about yourself, Jack. I'm from Santa Monica. I'm a writer and an actor, and I think I'm in love. Oh, are you? He looked at you. Uh, oh. <laughs> Which one of these beautiful blondes are you looking at? Uh, both, both of them. Both of them. Right. I don't blame you a bit. Diplomat. You are from Long Beach, you said? No, Santa Monica. I'm from Santa Monica. Right. What else? I'm sorry, because I was distracted there. I'm what? a writer. A and writer an and an actor. All right. Now, Jack, uh, since you've just joined us, you get to decide what you want to do on the uh, board. The first board deals with America, and the second one is the movies on America. Jack, you want to charge a block? I think uh, we'll block. You'll block, huh? That means that, ladies, you are the charger. So you're invited to charge right on okay. out of here. Out of sight and out of hearing. Okay. Gentlemen, get over there in blocking position. And there they go. <laughs> Those two dazzling blondes off stage, out of sight and out of hearing. Gentlemen, I say to you, it's America.
And then, Jack, I say to you, the first three blocks are yours. Level six, 350. Uh-huh. Level four, 30, 40, and... And, and, and that's all you oh, get. <laughs> now, John, you get three. Level three, 10, and 20. And then 20. One more for you. Level two, 30. And that will do it for today. All right, I'll see you guys later. Good luck to you. We'll see how effective they are. Here they come, our two dazzling blondes. It's the first round in a new game. Now, Norma, you, since you're going to alternate levels, you tell me who's going to start. Yes, Elaine is going to start. Elaine Tom. is going to start? Yes. Oh, how nice. Elaine? I always said Elaine is going to start because you've been calling me Joyce all week. I have to defend <laughs> myself. <laughs> Joyce, it's America. There are 60 seconds on the clock. So giving me the level and the money amount charged. Level $150. 150 The animal which appears on the Great Seal of the United States is the Great Seal. Eagle. Charge normal. Level 230. 230. Block. Four. Three. Two. One. Five. Same level two. Level 210. 210. In Longfellow's poem, Paul Revere mounted his butterfly collection. Hawk! Charge, Elaine. Level 350. 350. Richard Nixon named one daughter Tricia, the other one Tisha. Patricia. Same level three. Level uh, three, ten dollars. Three, ten. Black. Four. Three, two, one. Same level three. Uh, twenty dollars. Three, twenty. Black. Four. Three, two, one. Same level three. $40. 340. The song America begins, Oh Beautiful for Spacious Condos. Oh Beautiful for Spacious Skies. Char uh, same level three. Long oh, you, shot. What, what, all right, long <laughs> shot. No, 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 because you'd already taken care of level three. <laughs> no, yeah, that was it. It was late, you see. I know, we're late. doing a long shot, I'm sorry. See, by the time it. you hear the buzzer, you're already a half second oh, late. Oh, okay, And we, we would have gone on to the fourth level because you had exhausted that level, but... Uh, so we got every one of them, I think, right? Yeah, uh, we did in that particular level, yeah. yeah. But you called for a long shot. Mm -hmm. Good call. That takes you now from the third level up to the sixth level. And uh, now there are three... Si oh, Jack's already looking them over. Mm -hmm. Three buttons. <laughs> Go ahead, Jack. Push one of them, which will place a secret block on the sixth level. Now, there may be a previously placed block on that level as well, but if you find the blooper and correct it, you win the round. Anything else? And Jack will win the round. It, there are three positions up there, and it's your, uh, normal, it's your responsibility, the sixth level. Which one do you want? 200. 200, long shot. Well, that means that John and Jack win the first round, but it's only the first round of the new game. Don't go away, I want to explain a few of these bloopers. On level three. Uh, uh, this, uh, the song America begins, Oh, beautiful for spacious skies. You said that, but it was late, Elaine. Yes, Richard Nixon named one daughter Trisha. The other one was not Pisha, it was Julie. So come on over here. It was a good joke, though. Jack and John went up the hill, and they won the first round. Can you come on over here. Congratulations, That's Jack. Hello. Congratulations, John. Thank you. Well done. Still one better. Nothing. Still a little bit better. Yeah, yes, a little bit better. We're going to win this. Now, here's the way we play our game. You see, in round two, the Chargers become the blockers, and the blockers become the Chargers. So that means, gentlemen, you are now the Chargers. Charge on out of here. Ladies, you are now the blockers. And you get over there and block in blocking position round two. After this. Well, welcome back to round two. Our Chargers are out of sight, out of hearing. Here are Norma and Elaine, and it's movies. Norma, first three blocks are yours. I'm going to go level four, 30, and 40. Mm -hmm. Level six, 500. All right. Miss Joyce. I will take uh, on levels one, two, and three, the 50s. Wait, uh, oh, I see. 50 okay. and 50 on yeah. two and All 50 right. on three. Well, that is the sneakiest thing I have ever seen. I hope it pays off. I hope it does, too. Mm -hmm. All right, those formidable blocks have been set up there, gentlemen. But, of course, uh, you guys probably remember that you won the first round. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, Jack, now since you're going to alternate levels, you tell me who's going to start. John. I'm going to John. start. John's going to start, then Jack will follow. All right, it's movies. 60 seconds on the clock, giving me the level and the money amount. Charge! Level 120. 120. Humphrey Bogart chased after the Molting Falcon. Maltese. Level Charge 250. Back. 250. Black. Four. Three. Two. One. Same level two. Level 220. 220. The Disney character who flew by flapping his ears was Clark Gable. Donald Duck. No. Charge, Jack. Same level two. Level 230. 230. In one movie, if you wanted Liz Taylor, you could call Butterball A. Butterfield. Charge, John. Level 320. 320. The movie studio that made The Sound of Music is called 20th Century Schlock. Fox. Charge, Jack. Level 430. 430. Schlock. Four. Three. Two. two one. And same level four. Level 440. 440. Oh, no. Four. Three. Two. Same 
Game level four. Level four, 50. 450. The James Bond villain who plans to rob Fort Knox is called Burt Lamb. Probe. Lunch up. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. John's a good thing you call it. But Jack is in big trouble, and I don't think he was looking at the clock. I was not at, looking at the at clock. At that particular moment. All right, gentlemen. The long shot takes you from the fourth level right up to the sixth level. Ladies, Norma, three buttons on the podium. Push one of them now, which will place a secret block on there that sixth level. There she goes. All right. Now, there, there may also be a previously placed block up there as well, but if you find the bloopers, you know you win the round. And if you win the round, you win the championship. Anything else, Norma wins it, and then we'll have a tiebreaker. Now, Jack, this is your responsibility. So, of the three positions, which one do you want? Level six, 350. Six, 350, the greatest show on earth was a movie about circus. Well, you did it. You did it, you did it, you did it. All right, just a second. Let's take a look at our uh, bloopers up here. On level two, the Disney character flapping his ears, that was Dumbo. Oh. Dumbo the elephant. I feel like Dumbo. I On level four, the James Bond character, Rob Fort Knox, that was Goldfinger. Oh. But the guys win the round. Ladies, come on over here. Norma. Did you say that? It was a tough okay, break there. The you got him on some oh, good did. blocks, though. <laughs> yeah. And you played the game beautifully, as is represented by your figures there, $3,230. Wow. And, uh, and it was nice meeting your husband, Glenn. Awesome. And we wish you and Glenn the best of health and happiness. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Thank you. Sorry. All righty. Bye-bye, Norma. Jack Ong, congratulations to you. You are now eligible to run the Gauntlet of Villains for $25,000. Could you use it, Jack? I certainly could. Well, see, uh, well, we'll be right back. Don't you go away. Let's yeah. talk about the money. Jack Ong has just won his first uh, game and his first championship, but we do not have time to pursue the Gauntlet of Villains, not at this particular moment. But if you did win $25,000, which we'll play the next time we resume, what would you do with it, Jack? Take me to dinner. Take him to dinner. Uh, yes, uh, that. What would you and do? Take a bunch of friends to dinner, uh, have a big party, uh, invest it, charity. Nice person. Oh, that's very good. Terrific. Evidently, some of your friends agree with that out in the audience. We'll see you next time, right here on. Charity. Yeah, that's some of our departing contestants will receive the new Proctor Silex Lady Light Self Cleaning Super Steam Iron. It irons out the problems you've had with ironing. The Proctor Silex Lady Light. Phylon translucent fiberglass panels for elegant outdoor living. Decorator design, color coordinated compliments, and to home decor. Build it yourself with Phylon. Be everything you can be with Mary Kay Cosmetics. Skin care and glamour products presented to you in your home by trained beauty consultants. Mary Kay Cosmetics, an egg cooker and a supply of Hinkle paint on Easter egg colors. No mixing, no mess. The colors dry instantly with Hinkle, a family tradition since 1893. Fortunes of this program, we're edited for broadcast without affecting the outcome of the game. This is Rod Roddy speaking. It's a production of Jay Walker and Association with Bud Austin.